Hey, Bush. Hey, Bush. How's it going? Hello, my boy. How's it? How's oh, good. It? Welcome, James Small, to the Hangout. Hey. Hey, what's Hello, up, Mr. What's Small. Up? What's up? Wow. The studio is a hive of activities. Probably just as while you're sort of uh, lounging in your room there uh, at, at your hotel because we've got uh, Diana here. We've got Warren Garvey standing by with his guitar. Simon John. Maz is here. We've got uh, Warren's, uh, b- like, uh, roadies, roadies with him. Kate Nockwe has joined us. It's all a jaw here ahead of the test match. And, that, uh, nice and you down there, to go, are you going to go and watch the game? Yeah, boy, I'm, I'm actually sitting in a place called the Zimbali, the Fairmont Zimbali. I've got to give him a punt because the yep. guys looked after me really nicely. It's the most beautiful place on earth, really. Isn't, isn't it just? Did you play golf there today, by the yeah, way? Yeah, we played yesterday. I played with Gary Tashman and a few of the boys yesterday, John Allen, Andre Jupé, and... Uh, yeah, boy, just sensational. I mean, uh, Julian Katz as the marketing guy, really good place to be, eh? Fantastic. Put a picture of Zimbali up when we talk to James, Maz. Yeah, no, you can't believe what I'm looking at. I'm looking down over the swimming pool at the Indian Ocean, and the, oh. the sun's just gone down. Really special. Yeah, because well, they've got that uh, sort of, what's a tip over pool or whatever. What do you call yeah, those things? Yeah, they've got about seven pools here, but I'm just going to learn how to swim now. Are <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, you're gonna you're just going to hang on the line with us during the, uh, the flash. We've got a surprise for you as well, Bush. Yeah, yeah. What's we've got that, someone boy? else we're going to get on the line to get his thoughts on uh, on the big game. Okay. I think he's very close to the team at the moment as well. So, uh, uh, yeah, so you cool to uh, to get yourself a beer, just go and relax and uh, and chill, and we will get to chatting about the rugby in just a short while. Uh, do, do you know the Butchers? The Butchers? Chris Butcher. Yes, Terry Butcher and Chris Butcher, I think, it's, I think they are. And John is, as well, uh, Johnny James. Butcher. Yes, yes, yes. Did you yes. play with him? No, a little. Like, <laughs> listen. I played in black and white TV, but I wasn't that long. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Butcher played what Natal, didn't he? Yeah, Chris Butcher was just a little bit before me, boy. He was a he was a he was a hell of a man by all accounts, and uh, really well loved down here. Yeah, he's down there. He's actually, I think they started at about ten yes. though, so we're too scared to get him on the line. <laughs> yeah, no, I've been walking into some uh, the, the the state of inebriation that I've been in contact with during the day. It's it, it escalated quite radically, and after one o'clock, it was just. Inadvisable to be on the streets of Durban. <laughs> oh, okay. Everyone's in test match mode. Yeah, I know. It's fantastic. Good excitement, Daniel. All right. Brilliant stuff. Well, uh, stick around. We'll chat to you in just a moment. Warren Garvey, uh, a new young musical talent, will entertain you on the phone as well. Oh. So you can hear some good music that we've got here in the Hangout. What's your first song you're going to do for us, Warren? Uh, it's a song called Hooks in You. Hooks in You. Yeah. Here he is. Let's give it up for Warren yeah, Garvey yeah. on the Hangout today. <laughs> My phone I'm about to do the dumbest thing I know Whoa, oh, give it up, Warren Garvey like, How's that, Bush? Pretty world class eh? hey? I, mean, I, can't, I can't understand how uh, Somebody like uh, James Blunt can actually sell shit When this, this man is alive <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's Really It's because he's got a great looking <laughs> face <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> alright He says it's because he's got a great looking face but uh, Didn't that remind well, you of Art that, Matthews? That's, that's the boat of his look like he's uh, He's sucked a ping pong ball through a yard of uh, Of ice pop <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's Warren Garvey. We'll have another couple of songs before we uh, get to the end of the fl- uh, the hangout uh, this afternoon. So, uh, you've told us that Durban is uh, is just going ballistic as far as uh, the test match goes. It's a test against England. And uh, I-, I was thinking of actually maybe forwarding you this guy who wrote this blog, James, about... Um, about uh, He matched up the, uh, the, the Springboks and the England side. He's yeah. obviously a POM. Yeah. And he rates them basically, he calls us yarpies in all of his stuff, so obviously he doesn't like us at all. Mm. And uh, speaks the biggest load of crap about some of our players. I mean, uh, Bismarck Duplessis against Dylan Hartley, he reckons that Dylan Hartley will match to a guy like Bismarck Duplessis. Mm. Do you agree? Boy, look, we're going to find out. Eh? Um, I'm a big Bismarck fan, so on that one, look, I, I can't agree. I think Bismarck's probably the best in the world at the moment. There isn't another hooker out there that can play the game like he does. Um, but yeah, I think the, the, the general mood down here is one of apprehension, I must be honest. Nobody's really overly excited about the side that's been chosen. Um, obviously, with Lambie, the golden boy down here, not being included in the team, there's a whole lot of, you know, humming and hawing, and there's too many Northern Transvaal players and Zane Kirshner. And, but the guys, the, the general apprehension is there about how prepared we are for, for this test match, this coming, the first test match. I think uh, we'll get into that test match groove quite quickly. But uh, speaking to Jubo last night and to John Allen, Dickie, 
uh, Gary Toss, we all kind of share the same kind of apprehension about this first test match. Yeah, and I think when we spoke to uh, Jeff Appleford a little earlier on, and I mean, he's working for the RFU at the moment. He's uh, but a South African boy. The, the general trend is that they don't know too much about some of our guys. We all know about Etzevet. We all know about Kruger by now. We all think that they're really, really good talents. They don't know anything about them. We're looking at this England side going, unless you've watched every game of Heineken Cup rugby or uh, Premiership rugby over there, you don't know half these guys and what they can do. Boy, the, the, this is the problem, mate. Eh? We we got caught out back in the day when the Lions came out here with Ian McGeek, and they know how to prepare these guys, eh? And they prepare in a different way. They come, they come with that attitude. They get you got to jump on them early. You got to get hold of them, and you got to you got to be physical. You got to get you got to really dominate them early. You got them beat, and not knowing who they are is going to you know. There's a little bit of that. It's like a prize fight before you you know that first two rounds, three rounds. And we can't give them those first two, three rounds. We've got to come out like Tyson and smoke right from the start. And that's the problem. There isn't combinations out there. Yeah. I mean, his loose trio is not a combination. His, uh, his locks aren't combination. I mean, obviously, there's a few injuries and a few this, that, and the next thing. But I don't know, boy. I don't know. You know, that, 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 that knockout punch got to be, they've got to feel that uh, metal taste in their mouths in that first five, ten minutes of the game tomorrow. Mr. Small, um, where do you think the, the battles are going to be tomorrow? I've got to, I actually been thinking about you a bit, Simon, today. Uh, about that's, you. that's one of them. You're lucky not in Durban. Thinking about you too, Mr. Small. Yeah, no, do you know what I'm, I'm, do you know what I'm going to call you from now on? I've been thinking. What? I'm going to call you the boy that bounces awkwardly. <laughs> 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 you have to catch me first, Mr. Small. Yeah, yeah, no, no, but I mean, you bounce, you're almost like a rugby ball. You just bounce, sometimes you just don't bounce for, for me, you know what I mean? It's, it's I'm just, always for you, trust <laughs> me. What do you mean you're going to run? Do, no, don't, do you forget no, with, no, where he played when he played <laughs> rugby as a wing, my friend? I know he was, but you know. He's, yeah. he's a bully now. Listen, we'll Whoa! settle, we'll settle <laughs> it on the golf course. That's the Fun. bottom line. Fun. So I'm, I, think, I think the battle, obviously, is always up front. Um, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Yanni Duplessis. I know they're playing them as brothers and this and the next thing. But I think we've got youngsters out there that bring a hell of a lot more to the gun than what he does. Um, having said that, I'm not a scientist in the front row. Only those that ever played in the front row are scientists there. But, you know, this is where they base their game. They play on, on muddy shit parks where, you know, where, where it's really manning up. And that physicality they bring from one to three. I don't know if we can match it with a guy like Yanni in that side. I mean, Beast and, 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 and Bismarck, I think, can man up to that physicality. But you know, with all the respect, that's the one, the one choice that I've really got an issue with. Um, I think Itzabeth is going to be a nice big surprise for us. I think he's going to fill that buck his role. And I've seen the paper during the week, Annika Mayer says he's going to be, uh, he could actually take it to another level that buck he's did, you know? Yeah. Well, he so, was actually thinking about playing flip fund him over, but he said Itzabeth is too good to leave him out. No, I would have, I would have, Isabeth would have been the first choice and who to play with him would have been the decision maker, you know. I'm a little bit concerned about this Northern Transvaal one-eyed man that we've got at the moment, but, uh, you know, I don't want to sell him short. I think he's, I think he's got a vision. Who's think, that? Oh, uh, Heineke. Heineke, yeah, Heineke, mm. Heineke. I think he's got a vision and he's going out there to play, unfortunately, a penalty game. I think he's going to go out there and win it by three points, but he's going to, he wants to get off to a win. And that's, uh, that, in anybody's book, I think is the right way. Jose Mourinho, Chelsea, 1-0, 1-0, 1-0. Mm. But he won, 1-0. Yeah. And I think that's the philosophy that he's going into it with. I'm a little bit concerned about Jean at outside centre, in that, uh, you know, he's a, he's a yard slower. I hope they play left and right, which means that, that uh, France will play outside centre on the one side. All right. James, uh, the physical clashes in midfield? Yeah, look, I think I, I like what's his name. I like Francois staying at, in the midfield. I really do. I think as an inside centre, he showed in the World Cup that we won in France. Um, I don't think he's a player that, that must be given too much time. Some players, you know, with time, they can they've got vision and they can see a whole lot of different things. Francois Stein seems to make the wrong decision when he's got too much time. So when he's there in the heat of the battle and he's storming and he's and he's, he's right in the mix there, he makes the right decisions because he plays on instinct. So I like him where he is. I just would have liked to have seen De Jong or uh, something with a bit of pace. You know, even even play Brian Bannard outside centre. We've got Volvo playing good rugby, mm. Peterson playing good rugby. You know, I'd like to have seen a little bit of an attacking approach on the outside of of of, of Francois Stein. But obviously, 
you know, with the captain being uh, being Jean de Villiers is a bit of a story. I, I'm surprised they haven't looked at Brian Moore in that role because I mean that's where he started. That's where he shot onto the scene playing uh, playing at centre. And he's playing the best rugby I've seen him play for a long time. Yeah. Even when he was even when he was the, the rugby player of the year, I think he's playing better rugby now because he's more he's more intelligent. Now. He works mm. well now and he works off the ball well now. And I I, I really do. I think defensively he's very very strong. Very, very strong. So, I mean, the only thing that with converting a winger, I mean, if I had to play outside centre, that I should be running through me all day long. But a guy like Brian, who's defensive, is, is, is impeccable, if not the best in our back line. It's a good chance to take. You know, mm. it's a good risk to take. But maybe it's there. You know, I don't, I don't know what Heineck is thinking is, but I was a little bit worried about John at outside centre because he is a yard slower. I mean, that's what happens with age. One thing we haven't really spoken about is, is the weather. What's it like now? Because apparently they're predicting rain tomorrow. Could that yeah, but you don't put that on me. I'm not going to become a weatherman. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jet, Mr. Small. It's a little bit cloudy and it's a little bit... I mean, I'm looking at this beautiful... Fairmont Hotel is beautiful. Um, it's a we're bit looking cloudy. at it's on it's on screen right now. Actually, I, I think your exact view because I think I know exactly where you are, and we're looking straight over the swimming pool uh, at a, at a sunset picture as well. It's beautiful, unbelievable, boy. Um, the, it's a bit cloudy now. It's you know the the, the wind's not blowing, so it's, it's like sitting. But I mean, this afternoon was 26 degrees here, and they were predicting rain. So. I mean, who's to say? I mean, obviously, if it rains, it, it fits into their pocket. It's not, uh, it's not our yeah. game. We don't know how to play it. We don't enjoy playing in it. But um, I think there's going to be a big crowd out there tomorrow. So home ground advantage would, would cancel out the weather for me. All right. Listen, there are a lot of people asking, are you on Twitter? You're not, eh? Hey? Well, not, I'm a twit, but I'm not a tweeter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, because uh, there's a few people, yeah, James is not on Twitter. He's James Small on Twitter, so a couple no, of others. I mean, I'm going to start. Oh, is I'm it? Okay. Start, you know, I'm, uh, I'm from a different generation, but I've got to get uh, get a bit updated. All right, cool. Thanks. All right, listen, do you want to uh, just take a bit of a breather, go and have a, uh, a beer, go and just walk out on the balcony for a while? We'll phone you back because we've got a surprise for you as well. All right, so we'll phone you back in uh, in the next five to ten minutes. No worries. And uh, or you can go online checkballs.co.za. I think we're already podcasting our in sports highs and lows. You've never seen a Springbok jersey look like that in your life, <laughs> ever. All right. I'm, 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 I hope you're going to play Mr. Garvey again. I'm Mr. Play, Garvey's I'm Mr. Garvey's coming. Otherwise, hang on the phone. Uh, yeah. You can stick around, and we'll leave you on then. Um, and Warren is going to be doing a, another song for us about that. James Small rejoins us on the line from uh, Zimbabwe at the. Uh, I don't want to get it. the Fairmont, right? Yeah, it's the Fairmont Hotel. Boy. Fairmont Hotel. We've got Fairmont the beautiful Zimbabwe. photographs up there as well. Bush, we're going to go just uh, get hold of another number very quickly and get somebody else on the line with you, which is what we like to do on the uh, on the flush out, on the uh, hangout. So don't, uh, if you hear strange noises, don't, uh, don't no uh, chat, no your, chat to your buddy Simon here so long. I can't hear him. Oh, exactly. I, don't I was thinking about that and the guy that called. Yeah. Um, if I played with a guy called Yarpy Mulder. Yeah. And if truth be told, he's the only act that really ever tackled John Alona, uh, John Alone properly. Yeah. And uh, if we've got 15 yarpies on the field, we give them a bloody hiding. There we exactly. go. There we go. You must see the comments that starts getting on his blog as well. Mac. Yo. Good evening. Welcome to the Hangout on Balls Radio. Nice to chat to you. Woo. Likewise, Darren, but just as he plugs a light, eh? No, no, we're not. We've got so much stuff to talk about, Mac. And there's somebody else on the other line you might know, might recognize his voice. Let me listen. Mac, it's James Small. How are you, boss? Yeah, that was hard. You didn't have to even say James. You just had to say Mac, and I knew it was. <laughs> <laughs> have I given you nightmares, boss? No, you used to. But I, <laughs> I love the nightmares. It's your bedtime, is it? Because the nightmares were worth it, James. You... All the nightmares you gave me, you gave me, made up for it on the Saturday. Oh, uh, thanks, boss. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mac, are you out at the, uh, you, I believe you're sort of somewhere around the fringes of, of, uh, of the yeah, team? I've, I've just got back from the practice, uh, Darren. And yeah. I'm, I'm in a hell of a hurry now. I've got to go and be a speaker. I've got to be a DHS old boys by quarter past. Yeah, we have so much stuff going. But just very quickly, we're going to let you go. You're making so much money on the speaking circuit, Mac. You must be making telephone numbers. Well, let me tell you this. I've done three today, and tonight's the first one I'm getting some money, and this one is also free. Well, there we go. There we go. See, coming out of that amateur era, you're making the money now, so everything balances out. No, Darren, I wish I was. (laughs) Well, Mac, just very quickly, how are the boys looking, seeing as you were there? Just give us an update on how how everyone is, what's the move. I've I've, I've 
I've watched him practice all week, and they practice in various uh, unit skills and drills and that. And tonight they've been putting it together at practice. And what I've seen, they're looking very sharp. Eh? So uh, uh, I'm not if they can if they can crack off with that and that uh, that uh, explosive power a little sore today, then I'm going to be very pleased because let's be honest, Darren, it's a very unknown quantity that we're playing against. Yeah. Well, that's what we were saying today. Um, that's what everyone's been saying today. I mean, from our side, the, the England side is an unknown quantity. They think we're an unknown quantity as well. And I think James summed it up. Uh, you know, we have got some new guys in the side, and they're not necessarily combinations. And uh, from what you saw, I mean, are they are they kind of uh, molding well as a, as, a, as a unit from what you could see just from a practice point of view? Obviously, tomorrow is the proof in the pudding. But are, are, are you happy with what you saw? Yeah, I, I tell you, I've been sort of sitting this week and saying, mm -mm, but when I've just come from a captain's practice, and I always judge a captain's practice as the sharpness and the, 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 the dedication, or no, the application and all that, and it's there, it's there. So all we've got to get is the pauses. Look, as I see it, I don't know if you watched the baby box on Monday, which is a big disappointment to all of us, you know, um, and, you know, we still select this, so it's a big, it's a big, uh, Call, David Duran, he's put so much work in with Brendan mm. Fenter. But you saw what happened in that game. They they knocked us off on second phase. They had us on the back foot the whole time. Hence two charges down. We couldn't get into the game with a back. And we got some very, very sharp backs in that under 20 side. Now it's the same as I see tomorrow. Or if we let them put us on the back foot, i.e. we don't get our line out uh, neat and correct, we don't, we're not a tight in our scrums and, we, and, they, and they give us bad ball. But more importantly, if they hit us off on second phase, they're in for a long afternoon. Yeah. And, and I can tell you, we'll see this. But, and that could happen, and this is my only, only worry for tomorrow, is that they, they've got that in five tests already. And we're going in on, on one, like what Australia had to do against, uh, against uh, Scotland. So if that happens, we're in a long, long afternoon. But I tell you what, I can't wait. I've just been speaking to Peter De Villiers, the scum coach. Uh, as you know, Peter wanted to play for France. And um, he, he, he's he got a good feeling that our forwards are going to go well. And he knows a lot of those overseas players, you know? Yeah. So that is the key to, I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to work that out. But if that, we don't use our forwards and we don't get that ball on the front foot, then it's a long afternoon. All right, Mac. We'll uh, we'll let you go so you can get ready for your function tonight. Thanks a lot for chatting to us. Always nice to catch up with you. And, and and also just to tell you, you know, you, you know what game's going to be played tomorrow. It's going to be territorial uh, kicking in place from to get into position, and then we'll and then get into to, to using the face rugby and all that stuff everybody's doing. So who does it better? Yeah. But thanks, Darren. Thanks, Mac. Back. Always lucky to hear you, my mate. Yeah, cheers, Matt. Look after yourself. Eh? And every cent you earn, I believe you deserve and more. Oh, thanks, my mate. <laughs> you deserve <laughs> it. You're the man. Where's, where's, James, where's all the percentages that I'm supposed to get from you guys that made you such big names? <laughs> <laughs> I spent all mine, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Mac, thanks, boss. Try to drive safe. Cheers, man. Darren, any time, eh? No, we will. We will definitely touch base with you again, Mac. <laughs> Cheers, 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 bye bye. Thanks, bye. Yeah. There we go. What a legend. Ian McIntosh joining us on the uh, Hangout. So, uh, James, yeah, uh, just comments on what Mac had to say there? Yeah, boy, it's the same. It's kind of what, I've, what, what I mm. said. I mean, he, he says it's a long afternoon, and, and that, that, that kind of leads towards that opening, opening five, ten minutes of the game. And it, that's it. It's, it, it's all going to lie there. I think if we, can, if we can dominate and we can be, um, we can be on top of them, be precise. Um, be perfect in our execution of our set phases and uh, and dominate those set phases. I think uh, I think they're in for a long afternoon. But if if there's any apprehension in the new boys, if they stand back and it's uh, because they're another level, eh? it's a it's a, a little bit quicker, it's a little bit you know what I mean. The players are just a little bit better, and it, it all happens very very fast. And ten minutes goes by, and you look around and you you're nine points down because they've kicked penalties. There's going to be, uh, like, like Max said, a long, long, long day. day ahead. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, prediction, just finally? Boy, I'm, uh, I'm not a, a guy that would ever back against the Springboks, obviously. Um, 
I'm tending towards a draw in the first test match and then giving them a hiding in the second and the third. That's kind of my thinking at this stage. So nice. just hold our own there down on the coast and then bring them to the half felt and give them a good hiding. 100%. There's a reason why Jake was successful on the half felt. We played in Rustenburg, if you remember. Yeah, you know, those exactly. kind of things. Hard field's not their game. So Absolutely. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's unfortunately, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit apprehensive about tomorrow. I hope I get moved wrong. All right, well, we'll uh, only tomorrow we'll see. Always lucky to catch up with you. We'll catch up again next Friday, Bush. Are you going to be back in town or are you traveling around with the test? Yeah, no, no, I'll be back in town. If you, uh, if you want me, I'm yours. <laughs> we do, we do, every Friday. That's uh, it's awesome. People are loving it on Twitter as well. So thanks a lot. We'll try and hook you up on Twitter sometime soon as well so people can also send you direct messages and questions and things like that. 100%. We'll chat about Cheers, James. Week. Thanks. You're, uh, not, thanks staying, you're not staying in your hotel at the, uh, at the Fairmont Lodge now. You're going out, right? I'm actually on my way to do a thing with uh, Blades, with, uh, with a little question answer thing. That sounds Andrews. absolutely wonderful, Jeremy. We must definitely <laughs> rehearse, eh? Hey? I've had go. a few. There we go, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> dances awkwardly. <laughs> Cheers, Bush. Take it easy. <laughs> Have a good <laughs> evening, buddy. Thank you for your time, Mr. Small. Cheers. Bye. Bye. 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Mondays to Fridays live on balls.co.za.